Thank you a lot. I buy my stuff from... Get on with it. Crikey, come on. Uh, what? Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm here to pronounce the name the winner of the best international entry for the... Be That's got to be one of the ugliest blondes I've ever seen. Well, I wouldn't touch that with yours. <laughs> bill, the bill challenge thingy. What's it called? Oh, you, you speak in the English. What do you call it in England? The, uh, um, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> I think that's what you call it in Sweden, the ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just in waiting for um, the... Uh, Tire man to come and fix my tire. I can't really go anywhere till he's been, so I'm taking the opportunity to have a cup of coffee from my Funky Farmer mug while I'm watching Funky Farmer on my tablet. And I do believe. Um, play it well with Farmer P. You're gonna need a bigger knife. <laughs> Crack on, look at that bad boy. Okay, so Mr. Cornock's got himself a curve cutter. Which I reckon to be a bit too heavy. I actually think I'll beat him with a pen knife if he's going to use that thing. But maybe just to be on the safe side. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put an edge back on that. Yeah, I reckon I'll give him a run for his money with that. <laughs> there we go. The bail off challenge has been set. Farmer P and me. Crack on. See you soon all. Hope you enjoy it. Keep stay safe. Gonna sharpen this bad boy. Yeah, it's gonna need to be sharper than that, mate. <laughs> right, well, challenge is on. Um, I don't think the bales are gonna be going over to Tidderington for a couple of weeks. Um, we were gonna be doing it in the next few days, but he's actually picked up some more. So he doesn't need mine just yet. But uh, yes, that will be a trip out for all of us where I'll probably uh, make it into two parter because I've got to get my skid steer and the tractor and trailer over to the farm to load up bales so I can drop them off at Richard's. So it's probably going to end up some epic. He'll be shooting some, I'll be shooting some. You'll be able to get to see the same story from two angles. But I would imagine it's going to be some fun. And even though we're on lockdown, folks, this is work, okay? Remember, we're not playing much. This is work. So if any of you actually wonder what this is, uh, according to the bit of research that I've done in the past and I've just gone back in and looked again now, this is a French infantry pattern uh, 1842 bayonet. Uh, and I believe um, a lot of the inscriptions on the back here are so worn with cleaning, I can't really see them. It would be a case of, I'm sure if somebody really knew what they were doing, um, there is there is definitely some markings on the back of the blade there. But there's also a number five stamped on this side. And I can't quite make out if that's a number. There's like 69 on that side. But on here, it's got 19020, which I'm assuming is the rifle number. So I'm assuming that is the number that this bayonet would have been issued with a rifle. Uh, so somewhere out there, maybe in the world, there is a French infantry uh, 1842 rifle uh, with a number. Oh, I took one, three, O, oh, two, O. Oh. Hmm. So this has been in our family for as long as I can remember. In fact, this was the poker for the fireplace in the, little, the office, what we call the little room. Which is why I think maybe there was a little bit of a bend in the blade there, which is a bit of a shame really. I would quite like to have that straightened out. Um, I don't think it's worth very much. It's probably worth 25, 30 quid or something like that. But it's been in the family forever. And this actually lives Let's just say it lives upstairs. Okay, so um, 
let's just say if we had an uninvited guest in the middle of the night, I'd, I'd be possibly tempted to introduce them to that end. You know, if I thought they were threatening. Along with a few other things I have scattered about just in case. So anyway, still waiting for the time run. It is 17 minutes past 10. So, tea break's almost up. I think this thing does everything. Yeah. I'm kind of lost without it. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a tool if you haven't got it. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're used to it. I tried it once myself. Yeah. Running over it with a tractor and all sorts of trying to break the seed off of it. If the only way I could do it, take the ball out, was that to take it out in the yard and scuff it round in a circle? Scuff it round, yeah. And that's the only way I could get it off. They'd come off eventually. But then I couldn't get the bloody thing back on again. <laughs> I get yeah, it on, but I couldn't. Str struggle I, to get him to reseat again. Well, I wanted a bead for the um, cluster or something to um, get it on, so. It's the back bead he was blowing, was it? Yeah. You want to just drop it down and move him forward or backward, <coughs> whichever ways. single bubble just came out. Yeah, he's leaking a bit there on the bead. Is it? Yeah, that, n not a great deal, but there's a little bit of foam coming up. Uh, like I say, because he got flat anyway. Yeah. Um, so they got some crap in the bead. When I was blowing him up last night, it was spitting at me. Trying to push the crap back out again. Yeah. Well, we'll have, we'll have him off and clean the bead up, but that's about all I can see that's wrong with it. Hmm. Uh, tires have been on there a year or so now. Yeah. So, I mean, that will, because there was crap round it, you he might he might come off easy anyway. Yeah. Trouble this time of year, you get ice in the valve when you're letting them down. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh. Yeah. And it's the cold and it's just air going out. So. Yeah, the rush of air coming out. The... Oh, he's that. That doesn't usually happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's full of crap inside there. I doubt that was helping very much. But what I ought to do if I was being sensible was just get a spare wheel and a spare spare tire. Well, I've probably got a tire that'd do it. If I get another one, I can just take it off. Yeah, you get another wheel. Yeah. That'd be far too sensible. Far too easy as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's far too. Well, especially when you rely on something so heavily. I've said it before. I ought to get one, then I sort of forget it. It's something you use so heavy, like you, you every use day, all the time, every day, yeah. yeah. You want to power wash the rim off? Uh, for a power wash it or just give it a good bloody wipe off with a. I think you share a scrubby. Might as well put it with you eventually, I reckon so. He's good looking, you know. Yeah, so the Tony's the scrunches. Tie a decent knot in him. Yeah, yeah. Agricultural scrunchie. Agri Brilla. <laughs> <laughs> You're a missus, scratch it with that. <laughs> oh well. I don't know if they've got a lock in you with a pressure washer. No. Run the wire brush over to get that. Yeah. Might be worth me while going around the inside the tire as well. 
Look at all the detritus in there. Yeah. Get another bit of them. Yeah, a little, a little scrunchy. A little brilla. Yeah. <laughs> What you could have done when you were blowing it up was uh, it was probably um, you say it was pushing dirt out, was it? Yeah. Yeah, you could have just pushed the dirt out that was causing the causing the issue. Maybe. I don't know. It's, uh, the thing is, what made it go soft in the first place? Yeah. Because uh, someone had to make it go soft to let the dirt in in the first place. So the thing is, with these eight, with them scooting around all the time. You know, skidding rain all the time, you'd yeah. say. They're putting pressure on the side walls, isn't they? That's why I got these. Because the last uh, turret I, I put on didn't have the extra thick. Were they soft side walls, were they? Yeah, rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. I went to a different company, and um, that's before I started using you guys. Yeah. And uh, I won't say who. And they asked for a set of decent uh, skids to your tyres, and they, they didn't put on what I wanted. Uh, right. and that's why they were cheap. Cheap and nasty. They were definitely cheap and nasty. So you got to have that extra white rim on it. Yeah, you got to be able to. Yeah, because they do a lot of skidding about, and they say. Well. Yeah. Oh well. The main thing is it get done today, and I ain't got to worry about it. Yeah. My biggest concern was you were telling me you always going to have to have a tube. Um, by the way, we haven't got one. Yeah, I know, we always carry it. Is it? Yeah, we've always got the tubes. Uh, it's with the Brexit and everything else, it's a case of sometimes supply and demand at the moment. Yeah. I mean, there's a few bits of bobs we've got. Um, we want filters for um, one of the machines. We had to wait. Yeah. Because we didn't have it in stock. All right. But, uh, yeah, I just hedged me bets. That's a fair old jack, that is. 20, 20 ton. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Bloody heavy carry rain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd argue with that. <laughs> no, that's how much he weighs, 20 ton. Oh, is it? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> fair play, the spring's on the truck. <laughs> That's the things I haven't got. To uh, hold the bead on. Yeah. Yeah. If in doubt, give it a clout. Yep. Done before lunchtime, bloody cracking job. Yeah. We're off to next then. Uh? Uh, I don't know where I'm off to next. It's um, where they send you. Wherever I get sent. Yeah.
it could be just over the road, it could be Marlborough, it could be Worcester, it could be anywhere. Really? Yeah. You've come a fair distance, huh? Yeah, I've just, I've just come from Eversham. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> Yo. I better kick it just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, it's up. Yeah. Lovely job. Well, thank you very much indeed. Safe that's journey right. on to the next one. Yeah. I said, I'll put them away tidy. I might just wash the rest of it off. No, it's daft of one clean wheel. <laughs> well, I didn't think you'd appreciate doing it if it was like that. <laughs> I've done worse, don't worry. Oh, I bet you are, but... <laughs> you get the old scraper tractor in the middle of the cow yard. Yeah. They've driven off the rim. <laughs> you know, you've got no hope then, have you, really? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much indeed. All right. Right, that's that done. Uh, wonderful job. Um, Tyre Wright had done it again. Um, local company from Barclay, and they pretty much look after all the farmers around here. Um, lorries and you name it. They do all of it. So I'll put a link in the description box below to their webpage. So if you're local and you don't know about them and you need a puncture or tyres, because you can take your car into the uh, workshop, they'll do your car tyres, they'll do your push bike tires maybe or they'll do a combine tire anything any tire they'll look after it and they think if you can't take it to them they'll come to you so right I do I would like to wash the rest of this off but I've got that bag of logs on it is quarter past eleven and I've got a customer who wants those and it is starting to drizzle so I reckon pressure washer can stay where it is for a minute we'll go and deliver those logs and maybe later on this afternoon we'll come back and just just do the other three wheels excuse me you know make it look a bit nicer until i get them dirty again tomorrow okay right then that's that done that's that done let's go